All right, guys, so uh, Vivek Ramaswamy made some comments that pissed off many on the right. I want to share it with you here. So he says, the Harvard student groups who co-signed the anti-Israel letter are simple fools. But it's not productive for companies to blacklist kids for being members of student groups that make dumb political statements on campus. So let me pause here. We don't even need to read the rest of it. But it, the gist of what he's saying is uh, he's responding to a Harvard letter where they basically... Um, they basically said Israel is solely responsible for the Hamas attack. And, you know, it, it, it became a huge deal and a big issue because, look, that statement is irresponsible, right? Um, they're not solely responsible. That takes all agency away from Hamas. They're terrorists. They did a terror attack. They murked innocent civilians and children, took hostages, innocent people. And so they are responsible for the actions that they commit, right? So, like, that should be, it's a simple, ethical, moral point. Um, now, they weren't far from being correct. The, the real problem was that they said Israel is solely responsible for it. It would have been fair to say Israel is partly responsible for it. And um, that's... That's honestly a very straightforward conclusion that even one of the le head leading newspapers in Israel, it's a point they made. Uh, Haaretz made the point where they said, look, it is the failed policies of the Israeli government. Netanyahu himself said in 2019, we all need to support Hamas because the more powerful Hamas becomes, the less likely a Palestinian state is, is to happen. And don't take my word for it. It's on video. And we showed you, uh, you know a link on that story the other day as well. They propped up Hamas. They did. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But beyond that, doing endless illegal occupation, doing an endless apartheid system, and a total police state in Gaza, and having uh, illegal, ultra-Orthodox settlers bulldoze Palestinian villages and steal the land, yeah, all those things are going to lead to a backlash. Of course. Again, that's not to say Hamas gets a pass for murdering innocent civilians. Of course not. That was a choice, and they made it, and they bear the consequences and the responsibility for that. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But again, if the Harvard letter said, Israel is at least partly responsible for this, that would have been fair. But they didn't say that. They said they're solely responsible, and so that was a huge outcry and backlash against the Harvard students. And then what happened is... A lot of the students who signed that letter, they had jobs that they were about to get next year. They were, they were already waiting for them. And then a lot of these jobs have been rescinded, okay? So Vivek Ramaswamy comes out and says, look, the, the kids are just dumb, right? You believe stupid things and said stupid things when you were 19. Their employment prospects shouldn't be tanked for the rest of their lives because they signed on to this letter. That's his point. Now, to be fair to Vivek, this is, it's, it's a stance he's taking which is consistent with his belief against cancel culture. You know, he doesn't want a right-wing idiot who says some idiotic thing, 19 years old on a 4chan message board, to never be able to get a job because he was an asshole when he was 19. He doesn't want that. And he's saying, look, if I'm going to be consistent, I need to say the, sa the same thing if it's some Harvard student with politics I don't agree with whose future prospects are now non-existent because they said something stupid. So he's being consistent on the issue of, like, cancel culture. Okay? So credit to him for that. Well, Megyn Kelly wasn't having it. She chimed in. You've got to be kidding me. They sided with terrorists who murdered children and old women. You're not clear on this as someone who wants to be president? All right. Let's pause real quick to say she definitely is strawmanning these people. Now, there are some people who just literally did side with Hamas. I saw it. A bunch of weirdo, hyper-online lefties who say any form of resistance is justified. Hey, this is just decolonization. It's going to get messy. It's going to get ugly, but it is what it is, and it's, it's, it's okay. We all, and I showed you some of the, the tweets and some of the videos of people who do say that. That is abhorrent. That is disgusting. That is grotesque. That's definitely not the same position as the Harvard students. The Harvard students, um, while their statement overreached, it was definitely more reasonable than the flat-out Hamas enjoyers, okay? So Megan Kelly chimes in with that. Vivek says, Megan, I was crystal clear that what the student group said was dead wrong, and you know that. 
but I don't think it's productive to hunt down individual members of college student groups for the purpose of blacklisting them. Persuasion is better than force. Let's stick to principle. All right, so let me pause here to point out, I had forgotten about this, but some of the students who signed that letter, somebody paid for their faces to be put on a truck, and it, and it says, like, you know, an anti-Semites at Harvard or something, and it's a, the face and I think maybe even the names of the people who signed that letter, right? And Vivek's like, this is crazy. This is, like, cancel culture. Right? This is like extremism here. Yeah, they say a stupid thing. Disagree with them, try to persuade them otherwise, but don't just tank any future they have, take away their jobs, and, and write a scarlet letter on them and uh, label them anti-Semites, and that's the end of the conversation. So Megan responds, If they are not persuaded that murdering babies is wrong, there is no persuading them. We don't hire those who do the killings, and we don't hire those who applaud the killers while the savagery is underway. If you are open to hiring one of these lunatics, though, good to know. So look, you can flip this right back on Megyn Kelly and say, I see a, a lot of total uh, excusing and rationalizing and justifying Israel doing collective punishment and massacring Palestinian civilians. Should any of those people never be able to get a job ever again because they have terrible opinions on the issue? If you're supporting a medieval-style siege where people can't get food and water and electricity and apartment buildings are being bombed, and uh, mosques are being bombed, and people fleeing on the road are being bombed. Uh, if you support that, if you are uh, haven't condemned it, should we say, hey, you're gonna, you shouldn't ever get a job ever again? See, look, it's asymmetrical, right? It's asymmetrical. The response here, and so then we get to this. This is fun. So shockingly, Candace Owens hops in the conversation. It was Vivek versus Megyn Kelly before. Uh, Candace Owens' response to that last Megyn Kelly tweet, the one about they are not persuaded that murdering babies is wrong, there is no persuading them, we don't hire those who do the killing, and we don't hire those who applaud the killers while the savagery is underway. If you're open to hiring one of these lunatics, though, good to know. Candace jumps in and says, Oh, stop it. This is incredibly disingenuous, Megyn. You know that many of those students are not out there because they want babies to be murdered. College kids are stupid. I used to be radically pro-choice. By the way, that was when you were probably more intelligent. Glad I didn't get put on a conservative blacklist for wanting babies murdered. As it turned out, I was just young and temporarily brainwashed from a public school education coupled with mainstream Hollywood lies, and not because I legitimately wanted to see infants torn from their mother's wombs. Dr. Thomas Sowell used to be a radical socialist who ardently supported communism. Thankfully, he wasn't put on a conservative blacklist and accused of being a person who wanted worldwide suffering and starvation as socialism and communism bring. Students are young and experimenting. You are an adult who is advocating for their lives to be permanently pigeonholed because they have the wrong ideas which are likely being spoon-fed to them in their classrooms. Wow. Wow. So look, most of this is kind of uh, condescending where it's like, Look, they'll see the light of conservatism soon enough, right? Like, that's sort of the gist of what she's saying. But this first part, I'm surprised how much she's spitting in this very first part. Oh, stop it. This is incredibly disingenuous, Megan. You know that many of those students are not out there because they want babies to be murdered. That part is definitely right. She's strawmanning them as every Harvard student who signed this is flat-out pro-Hamas terrorism. No. I Most of those people are for are just trying to point out the occupation and the apartheid system led to a backlash where Hamas committed terrorism. It doesn't justify or rationalize the terrorism by any stretch of the imagination. It's still wrong as a matter of principle. But also, let's not pretend like we know what's at the core of it, which led to this. Right? That's the point. And so, Candace is right on that part. And look, I I'll say this. To Candace Owens and to Vivek Ramaswamy, the credit I will give them is that, at least in this one instance... They are being consistent with what they claim their beliefs are with, I'm pro-free speech and I'm against cancel culture, right? Because Megyn Kelly's not being consistent here, and the least consistent of everybody, Dave Rubin. Dave Rubin, um, Dave Rubin was this oh, free speech, free speech, free speech, big free speech guy. Story came out the other day that some European countries, I think France in particular and maybe some others, are banning pro-Palestine protests. And Dave Rubin chimes in and says, like, this is great. Maybe the West is going to be saved. Uh, maybe the West will be saved. Like, it's possible now that they're doing the right thing here and banning these pro-Palestine protests. This is a guy who cloaked himself in free speech being the ultimate value, and he turned on it like this. And so, 
uh, on this very narrow issue, credit to Candace, credit to Vivek Ramaswamy. At least they're being consistent that, hey, we support free speech. We are, we're against cancel culture. And Megyn Kelly, just the worst of the worst. Um, your life should be ruined if you have a bad opinion. That's her take. Well, Megan, I got bad news for you. You are full of bad opinions. Full of them. So be careful what you wish for. All right, guys, that's the show. Thank you, as always, for listening to me babble. Everybody do me a big favor. Click like, click subscribe, all that fun stuff. Click that bell icon so you get a notification every single time a video drops. If you'd like to support the show, link in the video description box. You can do it on Patreon or you can tip with the thanks button on YouTube. Helps us tremendously. I've never had a conversation with an advertiser. You guys make that possible. Without you, it would not be possible. And yeah, that's all I got for you, man. Uh, I will talk to all of you tomorrow. Everybody have a great rest of your day. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.